This is the third of my solution demonstrations. I'm going to talk about SharePoint as a search solution. The search capabilities of SharePoint vary enormously depending on which version you have. There are three levels of SharePoint licensing. Windows SharePoint Services 3.0, Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007 Standard, and Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007 Enterprise. Each version adds new search capabilities to the previous one. With WSS, search is fairly basic. You can search sites within SharePoint. With MOS Standard, you start to get a real enterprise search solution. You get the ability to search not only sites and lists, but also documents and records that are stored within SharePoint. There are additional search capabilities, which I'll get onto in a few moments. But you also get people search, this allows you to search the users of SharePoint to find people who have knowledge in particular areas. MOS Enterprise gives further search capabilities in the form of the Business Data Catalog. This allows administrators to set up connections to databases, web services or other back-end systems to make all of those systems searchable through SharePoint. This means that an end user can go to a SharePoint search page and simultaneously search intranet sites documents stored in file libraries, and records in company databases. This is Microsoft's search page. I've searched for SharePoint. At the top of the page, there are these best bets. These are defined by humans because no matter how good technology gets, sometimes people do know better than computers. Administrators set terms that are likely to be searched for and pick out the results that are likely to be wanted. In this case, the results are for technical information, marketing, team blogs, and other key sites. Over to the right are glossary results. In the same way, these are definitions of common search terms set by human beings. Below this are federated search results. Here, SharePoint administrators point the search engine to another search engine out on the internet, and this brings back the top results. Here, the search points to MSDN and TechNet forums. You can choose any sort of site that's relevant to the organisation. If you want to, you can connect SharePoint to Bing or your internet search engine of choice. Now, in the main part of the page come the actual search results. SharePoint can bring back sites, lists, pages, documents, records and just about anything else that's stored within SharePoint, all ordered by relevance. If you want to choose only specific types of results, you can go into Advanced Search. Here you can choose to search for only documents or types of documents, and you can choose to search for only certain languages. You can also search by specific metadata properties. If you use SharePoint as a document management solution, you can add properties to all the files that are stored in it, and you can add these properties to the list here and use them to search for items. I mentioned people search. This can be really useful for large organisations where you don't know exactly who does what job. Here I've got a list of results for all the people who have SharePoint in their job titles, recent projects, skills and so on. You can refine the search by job or where they sit in the organisation. If you're running Active Directory, SharePoint can take this directly from there. You can also set up SharePoint to search other systems. Here, there's a tab for Customers. This deployment has been linked to Microsoft's CRM system, so I could also pull back information on SharePoint Customers. You can create these connections to as many different systems as you want. So SharePoint can be used to search anywhere relevant, allowing users to find whatever it is that they're looking for.